Hello movie people, and welcome back to another creepypasta reading video. And in today's video, we are going to be reading a creepypasta that is called Drips. And my piano music is playing, so let's get on with it. It was a Saturday night, as, and as per usual, my parents were out. They went out on every Saturday night, which left me alone with my sister Megan and my dog, and my dog, dog. I looked at the clock, realizing it was about 7.50, and as my stomach reminded me, I hadn't eaten today. Megan, what's for dinner? I called down the hallway. I heard the footsteps walking up the stairs, and before long, she was at my door. What do you want? She asked. Hmm. Chinese, please? I said excitedly. Okay, I'll be back in about 10 minutes with the food. Just make sure you feed, you feed, you feed the dog while I'm out. She replies as she walks she replies as she walks down the stairs, picks up the keys to the car and leaves. When I think about it, I never did hear the car start. With nothing to do except wait, I fell asleep easily. I woke to the sound of a tap dripping of a tap dripping noisily, and my stomach grumbling. I had been asleep for three hours at least, and Megan wasn't home yet. My train of thought was lost to the dripping sound as it became louder and even more frequent. Drip, drip, drip. I tried to fall asleep again, but the tap was getting louder and louder. Drip, 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 drip. I walked to the bathroom to turn off the tap making the noise to find all of the taps were off and the sink was dry, but I could, st I could still hear it. And now that I think about it, the sound was coming from somewhere downstairs. Drip, 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 drip. I walked slowly down the stairs and the noise got louder as I did so. I followed my ears and, and to this day I regret that I ever heard anything that I ever, that I ever heard that noise, that I ever lived in that house. As I walked into the lounge room, I found my sister, mother and father, Hanging from the ceiling by ropes made of, how do I think about it, a material, the exact color of dog's fur. All I could do was scream as the thick, deep red blood dripped from their torn apart bodies. One of my sister's legs just hanging on by a string of gray decaying skin. Then the smell hits me, the smell of rotting fresh flesh crawls all, all over my body, clinging to me like a diving suit, making me wonder just how long they had been hanging there. That's when the memories start to get hazy. I remember my family's lifeless bodies in their eye eyeless sockets, the blood dripping from the deep knife wounds that scaled up and down their torsos. That's when I was greeted by, I still don't know what it was. I had exactly the same bloody, ripped up features as my family, except that when they saw me, they smiled such a cruel, menacing smile that I knew immediately who was behind my parents' murder. And I didn't speak, and it didn't speak to me as much. It spoke to my mind, saying, I just want to make them like me. I want to make them all like me. I remember it, it as clearly as that every time that, like, it was just yesterday. I ran from the beast, and I never stopped, never looked back. Just remember, if you ever hear a dripping noise, get out, even if your family's in the house. Don't go and get them. They're most likely dead already. In fact, that's probably them dripping right now. Yeah, guys, so that was just a short little creepypasta called Drips. It was it was really creepy, to be completely honest. Like, the kid found his parents dead in a murder and all that stuff. But I want to thank you for watching my creepypasta reading video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.